What's up, beautiful people? We are just at the start of our first full day here in Switzerland. We're about to do a hike. Where are we going to on here? First, we're going to Lag da Languin, which is the lake. We're going to have lunch there. Should take about two hours. I think it's different to Google Maps. They think people are going to hike quite quickly. <laughs> um, and then after the lake, we go right up to the top of Pete's Languin. Let's go! How we know we're on the right track? Just got to follow these markings. definitely a perfectly placed bench if ever we sat on one look at that for a view right there this area is called the Engadine right? Engadine yeah and we're like a 20 minute drive from where we were staying with yeah. Anna's grandparents it's not that far from San Moritz we passed a couple of lakes we went through Silverplana and then this is Maloya and what we did see earlier was the road that goes all the way down it goes down to Italy and it drops from something like 2,000 metres to like 300 metres. I think there's about 40 hairpin bends. And what's today's route like then for us? So today's route is straight up. <laughs> straight up here. So this is the, the elevation gain. It's just an out and back walk around 9.7k. But what we did is my parents recommended we start from the edge of the lake so that as you come up here you get better views of the whole lake and we've also got this lovely bench we join the all trails path zigzag all the way up to lag, lag de languin so the lake and that's where we're going to have lunch and then it's a very steep climb up to the top These wild flowers. So this is why I came. As we walked, we had views over the entire region and spotted what looked to be a medieval castle. Despite its appearance, Belvedere Tower was actually the 19th century work of a Belgian count who dreamed of transforming Maloya into a popular destination for wealthy aristocrats. Belvedere Tower has since become the emblem for the town. Further up the valley, we saw the Albinia Dam. It's used to create clean electricity, which is then sent all the way to Zurich. There's a waterfall just up here somewhere that we're probably going to pass a little bit further on. Oh my life, hiking in Switzerland is something else. And we've also got our first views of snow just, what, like 30 or 40 metres further up here. In elevation, this is like 200 metres away, actually. Oh. Is it cold? So nice. <laughs> Down. Ooh. Lovely. Okay. Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Not far from the oh lunch stuff at the lake right now. We've done nearly 4k over 550 meters of elevation game right now but the pace has slowed a little bit. It's got a bit steeper, just as we're coming up to the lake. And very, very sweaty. This cap is probably destroyed. There's a sign. There's a lake. Wow. We are ready for lunch. Check this out. So 
sandwich time. Yay! Made with love by Nana. Made with love by Nana. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Lunch has energised us and we are well on the route to the top now. We've come across the, the snow and look, we can see we're heading just up here, we think. We've got some clouds rolling in, so we're going to try and make it up sharpish before any other weather, any other like stronger weather could come in. But we're back on the ascent, ascent, ascent. We've got about 400 meters in distance, but then like 100 meters in elevation. I, uh, like 30 meters before I got there, uh, my car kind of yeah, uh, on the trainers and. Uh, Sometimes it's kind of getting cloudy up there. And, and it's a uh, bit worrying. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting hard to breathe. The altitude is definitely hitting us right now. But the top is just, it's like over this bit and a bit further up. We'll have to see what the clouds are doing in a minute. Whew. Straight down there. Oh, a nice little ridge. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Into the clouds. This is a pure little ridge just here. Oh, how you feeling? Look at that. On top of the world right now. One side. Other side, can't see much at all down there. Right, that is the top just there. So I think this is the point where we, uh, <laughs> this is now the point where we're turning around and we're calling it. Especially as Hannah's grandparents literally warned us, they said. The clouds come in, turn back around. And they have most definitely come, like you can't even see the top now. So it's been an excellent hike. We're not gonna risk it. Some beautiful views to catch on the way down there. What's up, beautiful people? Yeah. Do you want to see the border to Italy? Well, you're in luck, because I got it just for you. <laughs> Over there, these mountains, which are super pointy, are actually the border to Italy. So, there they all are. And there's my babe. The sun's come back I out. I know. With the wind. It's getting a bit chillier. You know what I love to see? What do you love to see? You know the peak that we were just about to climb but couldn't because of all the clouds? Yeah. <laughs> that is a shame. But I do not think that we're going to be climbing back up to go to the top. Not now, I need a beer. We found the cows again. I like these, I almost fell there. Little wooden steps to get down, nearly there. Just need to get down to town. How much uh, elevation? About 920 Ooh. meters of elevation. We did so well today. We did. And the lighting as we came down. Oh my God, it was like glowing, like all the flowers were glowing, they were like backlit. It was so gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Stunning. I'm going to finish this one up here. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing for more. Ding. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels, feels good, good around, around here. here. <laughs> Thank you. Anna, na, 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 na. Let's get down the mountain.